hateful words spoken by a well-known Cincinnati voice. That would be a better thing that he's gone, to be honest. You know, there's really no place for stuff like that um, anywhere. The fallout continues for Tom Brenneman tonight after he used a homophobic slur live on air. New tonight, the disgraced Reds announcer has responded directly to us about what comes next. Thank you so much for joining us. For WCPO 9 News at 11, I'm Craig McKee. Tanya has the night off. After calling 32 seasons of Major League Baseball, Tom Brenneman could soon be out of a job. Fox Sports suspended him until further notice. And now the incident leaves community leaders and members of the Reds family calling for change. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco joins us now from Great American Ballpark. We've watched 24 hours of outrage online since Tom Brenneman's hateful words were caught on camera, but it's sparked a conversation of change in our city. And what's new tonight is the letter he wrote about it. I don't know if I'm going to be putting on this headset again. A fast fall from grace, then silence from the familiar Red's voice until this letter. He opens with an apology and writes what I said was wrong. Brenneman says he was having a conversation with someone during what he thought was a commercial break when fans heard him use an anti-gay slur on TV. I decided not to read air it because many have already heard it and it could cause more pain to those insulted. Brenneman wrote in his letter, I had no idea it was rooted in hate and violence. Reds manager David Bell knew it. It's against our team values and everything we stand for. Pitcher Anthony Desclafani shook his head. It might be a might be a better thing that he's gone, to be honest. Brenneman's letter says, My actions have forced me to reflect on who I am and how I want to be seen and thought of. I must set a better example. He says he spoke in length to Vice President and Special Assistant to the Commissioner of Baseball and WCPO's own Evan Millward, both openly gay. He says they have been generous with their time and patience to help me understand the impact of my actions and provided me with resources to educate myself. Brenneman's apology during the game sparked criticism. No Apologize for the people who signed my paycheck. He stopped mid-apology to call a home run. So that'll make it a four-nothing ball game. LGBTQ plus leaders told us earlier today that this should be a catalyst to make sports more inclusive. Brenneman wrote, I'm going to start improving my understanding of LGBTQ plus issues and not in a way to simply check a box to keep my job, but to sincerely have an impact and change. Brenneman says he's immediately starting diversity training. In addition to pulling Brenneman from announcing immediately after he made the comment last night, Fox Sports has also suspended him from announcing NFL games. Reporting from Great American Ballpark, Courtney Francis. Courtney, thank you. And you know, there was no shortage of reaction tonight as responses continue to pour into the newsroom. I've been going through your calls and messages. I'm going to share them tomorrow on Feedback Friday, of course, at 6 o'clock.